French development has been a stunning revelation on Dangote refinery. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post what juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Commendations continue to flow in for African Wilders individual Aliko Dangote as operation kick off at the Dangote Petroleum Refinery and Petrochemicals in Lagos State. The latest actually comes from P2B, the 2023 presidential candidate of the Liberal Party, LP, who believed the refinery would contribute positively to Nigeria's economy. In a series of posts on X, formerly known as Twitter, on Monday night, will be a former governor of Anambra State congratulated Dangote on this achievement, describing it as a major milestone in the Nigerian energy sector. Situated in Lagos and owned by Aligo Dangote, the refinery is reported to have initiated operations with a capacity of 350,000 barrels per day. The facility recently received its first shipment of 1 million barrels of Agbami crude grade, marking the initial phase of a 6 million barrels plant to be supplied by various providers to the refinery. Having earlier witnessed the commissioning of the Dangote Petroleum Refinery and Petrochemicals as the world's largest single-train single petroleum refinery, I do believe it will be very beneficial to Nigeria's troubled economy, will be stated. When it operates maximally, the refinery will boost a capacity of 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day and is expected to meet Nigeria's domestic demand for petroleum products and help Nigeria save the much-needed foreign exchange currently spent and importation of such products. It is expected that by meeting our domestic demand and supplying the supplies to the international market, Nigeria would take its place as a key player in the downstream petroleum sector of the global market. It will be noted that the private sector will play a crucial role in the struggle to move the nation from consumption to production. This will help create jobs, helps in generating the much needed foreign exchange and encourage the growth of other small-scale businesses in the country. Yes, yeah, so... Now listen to this. Now you sabi antagonist. Stop blackmailing and be righteous if you're a good man. I have never heard of saying where this so-called would be talk the wrong of Obi. Is he a sense? Tell us. You think people are not wise enough to understand your motive. Okay, you think people are not wise enough to understand your motives. Here am I asking. Waiting be blackmail. This man can come and say, can say, waiting them go to do, na be tatin. Sing go help we country, make we country, they okay. And say private sector, go help, go contribute from, make Nigeria move from consumption to production. Sincerely, the other time I was saying, waiting this man, waiting be the market where this man buy for on a hand, we no pay. Saying, collect your wife, income can collect your land, in con what's in color your farm if your farmland by uh, with a uh, what they call by force? Why, why, why? Eh? I don't understand. Where is all this coming from? This man come and sign a contract, say everything they do. Say they okay, no problem. Okay, you people want him to be quiet. Unfortunately, he's not going to be quiet. And why I like him as a person, or I like the way he does as a politician is he see the one way good in good talk. The one no good. Uh -huh. At least so that it will not be that ah, not only the one way no good. Now in the talk. You know She Husani now. Uh -huh. She Husani, if you see the one way good. He's one of a, another politician that I also admire. If you see the one way good, ah, he will come outside and say this one good. If you see the one way no good, he will come outside and control she. That is how he does his own. So I don't understand. I keep, I keep asking. This person you are trolling. Now your candidate still the for sits. Why are you trolling this person? Election is not coming anytime soon. Election is in the next four years for crying out loud. So I keep asking the question. Obi remains in the news every day with lots of lies and deception, but thank God Obi is not telling us to go and verify anymore. I remembered Buhari was commissioned the refiner and then with him at Obi. He greeted him and told him, so you came. Showing that he was not officially invited. I don't understand. Ha -ha. Hey, let us face reality. 
Because of a level of corruption in Nigeria and fraud that established this refinery, it will bring more hardship to Nigeria. Hoga, calm down. You know, there is this um, there is this thing that they're saying that um, it is going to cause monopoly. Sincerely, until I use my two eyes, I'm not going to come out and assume. Sincerely, I won't come out and assume. I won't make the monopoly make it come outside. I want to make the monopoly they're talking about make it come out. That is why I'm, all, I'm also saying, she be currently, they say they are building or repairing, they say they are repairing refineries. I mean, no wahala. No problem. So, in the next six months, in the next nine months, now when will no see or hear, say they commission about two refineries, or in the next one year, we know here, say they build one refinery alongside this one. Now that time I go no say they mean, say they won't monopolize them. Do you understand me? But as far as I'm concerned, this is going to help a lot. Number one, it will stop the importation of petroleum products. That means now we will get crude oil. Now we go refine our crude oil. Now we the thing. Now we there at a, a. Now we the thing go. How go you stock them? Now we the thing go fever. So me now, I don't know about you people. I am expecting price of petrol to drop the next coming year. That is what I'm saying. In fact, I've said it before. I prefer that Tinubu, before he said subsidy is gone, he did all this. They brainstorm. Him and his people thought about how they were going to solve Nigeria better, how they were going to cushion the effect of removing the subsidy. And this is what I came to a conclusion with. Mio, in my humble opinion, I felt what would have happened would be that Tinubu would not give the old button like bringing out money because that one is a waste of time the money they will bring out will not get to people's pockets if you want to talk about oh you want to buy rice you want to buy beans you want to buy foodstuffs to you know to cushion the effect it will also still not work why the palliatives the material will not get to people it was intended to look at the one of covid19 we can all see how truly they bought the rice they did not give the money. They bought the rice. They bought the things that were needed. But what happened? People sit down on top of the rice. So people won't convert them to their own personal business. They won't turn rice seller. Do you understand? So now, this is my own suggestion. I did been say stay a day close to the president that time. That is even going to take the advice. I would have told him, look, instead of considering any palliative or uh, buying palliative or by giving money, I would have said Nigerians should be as in they should just help us be we they manage that in the first nine six to nine months that two refineries that are in the country will be functioning two the ones people say no good people say they don't abandon they will use six to nine months to to that what's it called to repair it and then inside that six to nine months they will also repair in the next one year one year six months as in as in, after that nine months, we think we make one year. Okay, what, what makes one year? Extra three months. <laughs> in the next six months, we should be talking about how then you just build, don't build one refinery. Do you understand? Now, so it's supposed to be. In my own opinion. But let us see, Sha. This particular refinery, this one will become as I can't talk about them. Let us see if really the praises will be say in carry today. Now, so it will be tomorrow. All right, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest.